I what mean, a weird year. It's been a weird year here with co-owner Brandon, and we've got a lot of stuff we want to catch up on. But first, let's note that the last time we hung out was when you had a whole revamp of Eastern Kill. That's yes. how long ago it's been. Is that the last time? Yeah. In person. Yes, in person. That's true. Like, you and I were able to talk and do one of the happy hours online, right? right? That's true. But we weren't yep. next to each other. That's right. And so now we've had this opportunity. So it feels good. Like, it does. It feels like, you know, it's somewhat close to normal. I know. It's so good to see you. Thanks for coming out. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about this because yeah. during this time frame, of this pandemic, you guys were working so hard. Yeah. You were making hand sanitizers, kind of do the, the whole pivot, weren't you? Yes, yeah, and you know, it, it's been a really great year for us, despite the, the weirdness that has affected so many people and so many families. As a business, we've been very fortunate. Um, we have awesome customers and, and we have an awesome team here that's been creative and found ways to pivot. You know, uh, the hand sanitizer shorter, shortage that happened last spring. Yeah. Distilleries kind of sat on the most important ingredient for hand sanitizer, and that's high proof alcohol. You so bet, yeah, yeah. Our, our team was able to pivot and put out some sanitizer for the community, and, and we gave some away, and we, we were able to sell some of it to, to make some profits and keep, keep everything kind of flowing. And then that went into uh, cocktail kits to go, so people could make cocktails at home during the pandemic when things were shut down. And Grand Rapids was extremely supportive of that program. And, and when we were able to open up, they trusted us to do so safely. And we, we can't complain. I mean, as a, as a business, we've been really blessed with some awesome people to support us and, and an awesome team to make things happen. So. You know, admittedly, it made my life easier that you had those to-go cocktails. Sure. Because even so, like, there were moments where I wanted to give somebody something just because I missed them or I thought about them. I'm like, hey, I, I just I just got you a cocktail here, but you got to go pick it up. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Sure. I made everyone go pick it up. But yeah. what I think is so great is that even through all of that, you said, hey, we're going to put our name in the hat. We're going to enter this major international competition, which is a big deal. Yes. Yeah. So thank you. I appreciate you being here to cover this. Yeah, we we entered the San Francisco World Spirits Awards. Um, and arguably, it's it's one of the most competitive spirit awards in the world, if not the most competitive. Okay. And so we didn't know what to expect. You know, we're a young company and, and our primary focus is making whiskey. And for all of you people that know whiskey out there, it takes a long time to make really good whiskey. It takes okay. a lot of time to mature in the wood casks in our barrels. And uh, so we definitely tossed our name to the head and, and, and threw in three entries. Um, we did our barrel proof bourbon, our um, Bottle and Bond Rye Whiskey, which is our four-year-old rye whiskey, and we did a Toasted Oak Finished Barrel Strength Bourbon. And um, we were so pleasantly surprised and very excited to find out that all three of them metal, including nice. a double gold for our Barrel Strength Bourbon, which was, um, excited is an understatement, but we were very excited. Yeah, okay, so these are it right here. These are it. Yep. These are it, and so you can see, you know, I really enjoy coming here for the cocktails. I like sure. a little frou frou. Like I appreciate the time and effort it takes to find that balance and that taste and just the enjoyment of being able to try something completely new. And people can pick these up here, right? So that's where is that not a yes, Brandon? A, yeah. What do you mean we can't? Not I yet. know, right? So our our we entered three spirits into the award ceremony because we love them yeah and not thinking about sales because unfortunately we weren't thinking about sales well, not uh, that but that's time. okay right so uh, <laughs> the bottle the bond ride um, which won a bronze in this particular award we have about 30 bottles left here at the distillery Ooh. so we're running low running we low will, we will do it again soon okay when product is available gotcha uh, but that's running low our barrel strength bourbon which did win a double gold uh -huh. is saved for partnerships with local um, liquor stores and grocery stores that oh. want to come and pick their favorite barrel of our lot. You bet. And then they get the entire barrel. That's so, so this cool. double gold was won by a barrel selected by Megabev, okay. which has six locations in Western Michigan. They all split some bottles. I don't know how much they have left. Fortunately, we are doing a couple more programs. Martha's Vineyard just got their single barrel two days ago. Oh, okay. Um, so their team picked out a wonderful barrel. I suggest if you're looking for it, to go find them or one of the Megabev uh, locations. Um, we have another one coming out with Joe's Party Store in Kentwood. 
and that's also in partnership with eight restaurants around town. Nice. Um, including one bourbon, Lucy's, Oh, look at it. It's right, in the, right there. Yeah. All of these restaurants that we enjoy to support local during this time, Just right? Some fantastic restaurants around town that we love so much. They came and all had a a vote in picking the barrel that they like the most. Yeah. And this is what they uh, this is what they landed on, and we're really excited to get these in their hands in the next uh, week and a half or two weeks. Okay. Um, and then our toasted oak, not to confuse everybody that I've already confused. <laughs> this is a, a release that we do every fall. Okay. And ten stores get to pick out single barrels from the ten barrels that we do every year. And um, if you're looking for these in town, I know that Tuscan Liquor, our neighbor, about a half a mile north of our distillery, still yeah. has some left. Um, outside of them, our friends up at Beverage Company in Traverse City still has some remaining. Okay. And uh, that might be it. And that might be it. Lot. Hot so, commodity here. You I know. know. Here's the thing, though. I mean, how awesome is it that even during the time frame that we had this period of unknown, you yes. were able to find a place to get recognition for something that you love doing yeah. and love creating, right? It, it's a blessing. Yeah, we're yeah. very excited. Yeah. Okay, so what, what is this one here? So this is our barrel strength bourbon. Okay. Um, it, it, when I say barrel strength, that means oh, the it one. comes okay. right out of the barrel. So we don't dilute it with any water. Yeah. It's sitting right now at about 127 proof. Woo! So it's about, what? Math is hard, but that's that about 63 hard. or 64% yeah. alcohol. Okay, okay. So, so we're just going to take a little sipper. A little sipper. Okay, and, and I just, tell me about get, what I'm smelling. So what you're smelling is all of the aromas oh. that come right out of the barrel that yeah. we're not going to do. So you're going to get some spice. You're going to get some vanilla from the uh, from the oak, some tannins. Um, on the palate, if you can get past that first initial ethanol burn, <laughs> we're going to get a lot of flavor. <laughs> okay. that Some wood, some sweetness from yeah. the oak. We're gonna get some spice from the rye that's in the barrel, some corn that's gonna bring some sweetness to the table. Yeah. And then uh, the finish is nice and long. I, I call it a Michigan hug now. I know that's oh, I know that's probably illegal. I don't want to get sued for that. Yeah, yeah. Kentucky kind of has dibs on sure, the Kentucky sure. hug. Yeah. But Okay, yeah. so how long was this sitting before you bottled it? This was just under four years old. Under four years old. Yep. Okay. So it's about right. two months under four years old. Um, Well, that's warm and nice and like Ooh. there's almost like a sweetness to it right exactly like oh that's good that's really good You're this amazing, is just this is deserving of that award wow oh, so how many people actually were in that specific category or how you know how you many know, were you I, I have not looked at the overall data for how hmm. many people that's um, cool. but i know that san francisco they don't just hand out awards to, yeah. to hand them out. So right. it's really competitive. And to get a double gold, five blind judges, they can see. Sorry. <laughs> five judges are going to taste blindly, which means they right. don't know exactly what they're tasting. Exactly. And to get a double gold, all five judges that taste your spirit have to award it in between a 95 and 100. Okay. And so for five judges to blindly award this between 95 and 100 oh, yeah. um, earned us a double gold, which which we felt was was... It's it phenomenal. Lives. It's validation that, are, that, are, that the work that we've been putting in for the last five years is, has been um, hopefully fruitful. And we're really proud of our distillation team. Um, Steve and Mike do a great job back here. So um, we're excited what the future holds. Uh, we're excited for more releases like this. You bet. And as some of these barrels even get older, we're excited for what that holds as well. Oh, Brandon, this is fantastic. Again, you can see at the bottom of the screen, easternkill.com. Check it out, you guys. Where, where are you at right now? You do have outdoor space, which you know, and he's like this. We love it, but you also have the indoor tasting room open, right? Correct. Yes, yeah. we have indoor or outdoor. Outdoor could be under a tent um, with the sides out, so the wind can still blow, or you can go just right under the skies. Um, yeah, 700 Ottawa Avenue, just north of City Center, Grand Rapids, still in the downtown area. Uh, we have a tasting room ranging from cocktails, from gin and tonics, and old fashions to. Uh, different sours and egg white drinks for all the uh, bourbon kind of, uh, cocktail kind of sewers out there. So yeah, if you need to visit, let our, let our team take care of you. I don't think we'll be disappointed. No, no, no. Cheers, my friend. Congratulations. Appreciate so it. Bye, everybody. Support local as always. We'll see you later.